Yo, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a great start to your Sunday morning. I'm back in the game with another video and welcome back to my channel, NC Tub TV. So guys, I wanted to give you an update on this Porsche and Dennis McKinley situation. Now, although the two have been broken up for weeks now, allegedly, we know how that go, right? Dennis McKinley is doing everything in his power to win Porsche back, according to reports. Now, this past 4th of July, Porsche found it in our heart to let Dennis McKinley come by and spend time with the baby and spend time as a family. Someone torturing him. PJ! Him. Now guys, we know that the streets say that Dennis McKinley has a sketchy past and that he can't be trusted and that he cheated on Porsche and many other things. Now, of course, I reported already on this particular story that Dennis McKinley was the one that called the actual engagement off because Porsche didn't want to sign a prenup. I really don't think in my heart of hearts that the cheating accusations against Dennis McKinley is what prompted Porsche to stay away from Dennis for about two months. Now, Dennis McKinley may have called off the wedding due to the simple fact that they couldn't come to a prenuptial agreement, but at the same time, he didn't call off the relationship. And this was Porsche just being a spoiled brat. All right, let's just call it what it is. She couldn't get away and she threw a temper tantrum due to the simple fact that she couldn't make Dennis McKinley bend and go into a marriage without a prenup. So she basically got upset with that notion. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's run to the receipts, right? That HollywoodLife.com has provided for us. And let's read uh, what Dennis McKinley is doing to try to get Portia back in his life. All right. And it states, even though Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley just broke up recently, he's already trying to win her back, a source revealed to Hollywood Life exclusively. Portia Williams, 38, broke up with her ex-fiance and father of her baby daughter in June, but her ex Dennis is still hopeful for their future together. Dennis has been heartbroken over the breakup from Portia and is doing everything and anything to win her back, a source revealed to Hollywood Life exclusively. He loves his family with all his heart and really can't imagine living life without Portia and PJ every day for the rest of his life. Dennis knows he's not perfect and he knows he has a lot of work to do if there's ever a chance of winning Portia back, our insider continued. Right now, he's just been focusing all of his attention on his work as a way to distract him from all the drama that's going on. While the couple split a few weeks ago, Portia and Dennis celebrated the 4th of July together with their daughter. Now guys, MTO News has confirmed that Dennis bought a dinner slash breakfast restaurant for Portia. And after paying for everything in cash, he made sure to put the business in Portia's name. A person close to Dennis told MTO News the name of the breakfast restaurant will be called Good Morning. So yo, I have a couple of pictures for you indicating that Dennis McKinley did purchase a diner, all right? Portia got this man out here purchasing diners, all right? Now, this next picture that I have coming up, guys, really confirms that the diner that Dennis McKinley bought Portia will be called Good Morning because he posted this on his Instagram. And as you can see at the bottom, it states, Good Morning. All right, check this out, family. This move by Dennis only indicates to me that Dennis still wants a prenup because what he's going to hide behind is the premise that, hey, I bought you a business and I put it in your name. I still want a prenup. What more do you want? Let me tell you what I think that Portia wants. I don't think Portia has a problem with a prenuptial agreement because I believe that she wants to protect herself as well. But Portia wants a prenuptial agreement that goes solely in her favor if the marriage doesn't work. Now, if you look at what Dennis McKinley is trying to pull off here, it's a very sneaky tactic, but it's smart because in the event, if Portia and Dennis McKinley were to get back together and let's say they get married, right? If they got divorced, that business is Portia's, right? Dennis McKinley doesn't have any ties to that business, but the fact that he bought it and that he gave it to Portia, so it doesn't affect any money coming from that business that could have been his because that business is owned by Portia, which means that those finances belong to Portia. And also y'all, 
he can present the same argument in court when Portia goes for the coins if they were to get divorced. He can say, look, I bought you a business. This is how much your business has generated. I shouldn't have to pay all this alimony. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of smart. Now, a lot of people have insinuated that Portia has a struggle IQ. I don't believe that Portia struggles to know that her net worth is a lot lesser than Dennis McKinley's. All right. Now, when you take that into account, understand this. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Portia does not need Dennis. She can take care of herself and she can but she doesn't have Dennis's money, nor does she wants to spend her own money. She'd rather spend someone else's money. That is how Portia rolls. It's not the fact that she can't take care of herself. She wants to spend someone else's coin. That's just how she is. But anyway, guys, let's transition to another story. Let's talk about Lala and Carmelo Anthony. So just to refresh your memory, Lala was chilling on her birthday, right? Thinking that she was gonna get it in. All right, and have a good time. Then pictures are hitting the internet like crazy with Carmelo chilling in the south of France on a yacht with this chick named Sarah. Now, Carmelo puts up this lame and goofy video debunking the actual accusations that he was out there chilling with a side chick, which we found out that that's the case because she's a model and she is not married, all right? So Lala Anthony is in her feelings. She's hurt. Mind you, this is her birthday. Mind you that, you know, Carmelo Anthony had a child outside of their marriage. All right, so let's fast forward it to last night. It seems that Lala was in her feelings and she said what she wanted to say. All I have to say before I show you this clip, Lala, welcome to Pettyville. We're glad to have you. All my ladies who don't give a I really don't though. I really don't though. Alright, this next song is going out to all my independent ladies who don't need a English. My ladies who don't give a about a song. I really don't though. All right, so Lala, I want you to keep that same energy when you don't have any juice in your system, all right? Keep that same energy when you wake up in the morning, feel the same way, have that same inspiration because truth be told, you should have left Carmelo the second, all right? The second you knew that it was true that Carmelo Anthony was having another baby with another woman and you're married to him, all right? But hey, I get it. We live and we learn, all right? Now, I hope that you have learned enough to move on because Carmelo Anthony, this is what Carmelo Anthony has turned into. He's a washed up NBA player that won't have any good luck or any success in the NBA due to the simple fact that, you know, instead of him focusing on his craft, he's out there in the middle of France, right? Chilling with another chick. So that lets you know where Carmelo Anthony priorities lie. You know, and it's not within you, Lala, so just move on. But I like the energy that Lala had last night. But I just hope that this wasn't a moment where she's in her feelings and she's upset. And then later on, she's going to end up taking Carmelo Anthony back. That's why I stated previously, keep that same energy when you wake up from that vodka and cranberry. That's just how I feel about it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let y'all have this. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about the Dennis McKinley and Portia story. Do you think that Dennis McKinley and Portia are going to end up getting married? Or do you think that they're just staging this whole plot just to have a great season on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Also, what do you think about Lala coming out her shell and actually stating how she feel? It's well warranted and it should have been said a long time ago. So just drop down in the comments and let a brother know. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also share this video. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell to be notified of when I will drop my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.